Hello, everybody. This is Maria with RSU Radio. I am with Ryan Thomas of Circle Cinema Today. We are here to talk about the film festival. It kicks off this Thursday with the screening of Keep Shooting, the John Starks story. What else can people expect at this film festival? Uh, we've got 10, 10 programs total and uh, just really something for everyone. Uh, family films, documentaries, new horror films, uh, runs, runs the whole range. That does sound like a lot of awesome stuff going on. It's really exciting. So what big names are you excited about making appearances this year? John Stark is, is certainly one. Uh, he's the, uh, uh, from Tulsa, uh, went to OSU, and then uh, had a great career with the New York Knicks in the 1990s. Uh, he's coming back to Tulsa with a new documentary, Keep Shooting the John Stark Story. Uh, he'll be here in person along with the director of the film, Lee Simons. Uh, another cool one is the uh, new horror film, The Dark and the Wicked, uh, the lead actor of that, Michael Abbott Jr., will be here. Uh, he's also currently in Oklahoma filming, uh, filming Killers of the Flower Moon with Martin Scorsese, so may get a, a few little uh, previews on that from him. Uh, and then there's a, a great, great program called Rebuilding Black Wall Street, uh, My Life. It's a, a new short documentary directed by uh, Therese Anderson Aduni. Uh, it's based around this, this footage and photos that her father, the late Reverend Dr. Harold Anderson, uh, found. Uh, families that stayed behind in Greenwood after the race massacre, um, just keep, you know, rebuilding and, and just going about their everyday lives. Just real, real neat slice of life footage that uh, hasn't really been seen before. So I know that this film festival is a big deal for film buffs in the area, but is there anything that casual movie viewers can also gain from this festival? Oh, sure. One, one of the events is uh, one that, that everyone would like. It's uh, the 25th anniversary screening of Twister, the, the great classic uh, disaster movie set in Oklahoma. Uh, so we'll be showing that, and there will be some uh, memorabilia from the Twister the Movie Museum in uh, Waukita, Oklahoma. They'll have some items coming out. Uh, and then there's also going to be a free short film program uh, on Friday at 6 p.m. Uh, that's, that's a great way for people to come see you know, new, new films from you know, up-and-coming names or uh, hobbyist uh, amateur filmmakers or established talents just running the whole range and, and get a good kind of survey of, of what's out there now in the film world. And surprisingly enough, this year marks Circle Cinema's 93rd birthday. Are you guys doing yeah. anything special to commemorate that? Well, we'll have some uh, some cupcakes and things. Uh, just you know, celebrate the the 93rd birthday while while John Starks is here uh, as we continue to, to look forward to Circle Centennial coming up soon. Yeah, that is coming up soon. Mm-hmm. So this year's programming has a lot of independent films and filmmakers associated with Oklahoma specifically. What was the reasoning behind highlighting so many people and films related to the state? That's what we always try to do with the, the Circle Cinema Film Festival. It's one thing we, we really want to make sure it gets out there. You know, there's not a, a whole lot of avenues for Oklahoma filmmakers to, to really showcase their work. So we want to provide a space for that. Uh, films that might not otherwise get a chance to play on the big screen, give, give them a, a platform and uh, showcase the, the great, great talent of film being made here in Oklahoma. I guess on the note of film here in Oklahoma, mm-hmm. what is Circle Cinema's part in this current increase in movies being filmed in Oklahoma? You know, we're, we're glad just to be able to show these great films and, and let people see on the big screen, you know, oh, hey, I, I recognize that place. Uh, we've, we've been showing the uh, film Minari that uh, won Academy Awards, nominated for Best Picture, all, all kinds of uh, acclaim for that. That was filmed right here in Tulsa. Uh, and just to, to highlight that and let people see, you know, there's, there's a lot of great filming environments here. There's a lot of great talent coming in, um, either homegrown or, you know, coming in from Hollywood to utilize the great locations of the state and just show how gorgeous that can look on the big screen and really capture the essence of Oklahoma. We, we love being able to, to provide a space for that. Absolutely. And with that, I want to thank you so much, Ryan, for calling in, telling us all about this festival starting this Thursday. Uh, yes, this Thursday. Uh, tickets and showtimes and everything are at circlecinema.org. You heard it here first. Thank you again so much. Sure. Thank you.